what's quickest in a drag race? An Audi R8 V10 Performance Spider or a BMW M5 Competition? Well, we're going to find out right now because I'm going to race them over the standing quarter mile. Because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car wow. Let me tell you about this Audi. It has a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 sat just behind me and it puts out 620 horsepower and 580 newton meters of torque. It drives all four wheels via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. This car weighs in at 1,695 kilos and it costs from 160,000 pounds to this one here, 180,000 pounds. I know that because it's my daily driver. Lucky me. Now to find out about that BMW, I'm gonna hand you over to its driver. It's Daniel from the German Car Wow channel. Wie geht's? Daniel. Sehr gut, danke Matt, wie geht's dir? Gut, was ist das? I'm not really sure what that meant, to be honest. Was ist das? Was ist das? What is that? Oh yeah, now, now I got it, yeah. Just a little hint of accent there. Was ist das? This is a BMW M5 competition, which has a 4.4 litre V8, 625 horsepower, 750 newton meters of torque, all wheel drive, eight speed automatic transmission. It weighs 1,865 kilos, and I believe it costs 111,000 pounds. My God, German person, you are so accurate. Do you know what? It's nice having you on instead of Yanni. He doesn't know anything about any cars. I do know the stats. Five. 100 is brake horsepower. I don't have to remember quite so much. Good work. Thank you, I'm very happy now. Now, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss when I upload the next drag race, which is gonna be a banger. Let's get on with this race. Now, actually, before we race, we should do the customary car wow sound check. So I'm gonna rev up this V10. Bet it sounds awesome, right? <laughs> I've got the sports exhaust and yeah, it's not letting me rev past 3,000 RPM. My red line is at eight and a half, and it's only giving me 3,000 revs when stationary. That is the most ridiculous soft limiter on any car ever. May as well be a bloody EV. Well, it will be an EV one day. In fact, very soon, because this is the last R8. Anyway, let's have a listen to the exhaust of your BMW. That's rubbish as well. They may as well all be electric. That was crap, wasn't it? Yeah, kind of, but I didn't really hear your car either. No, mine was crap too. But when you're driving, it's amazing and you'll find out in a moment. Before that though, if you're thinking about changing your car, you probably need to sell your current car and you can do that through CarWow. All you have to do is click on the pop out banner up there for the link in the description below. Then when you get to CarWow, you just upload some photos of your car, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Just pick the highest offer and the dealer will come to your house, take the car away, put the money into your account. It's dead easy. If you wanna do that at a later date, just simply Google help me CarWow and we will help you sell your car. Now, finally, we can race. Oh! I want to look the part, right, for this drag race. Now I'm ready. Three, two, one. Hey, boy! Oh. Woohoo! Um, I've never seen a BMW M5 competition launched so badly in all my life. What happened? That's a very good question. I have no idea. I have everything in Sport Plus. It just didn't give me full power. That's kind of what it felt like, as if it's not running on full power. It enabled launch control and it launched, but then it was just slow. Yeah, somehow. I don't know. Did it say launch control? I'll, yeah, I'll give it a try again, but it absolutely, yeah, it worked. Three, two. Oh, and you're on the line there, bloody hell! What have you been? 
man, your reaction was immense. Or you jumped the start. We need to find out. Can we just check the footage to make sure that Daniel didn't jump? I've got a horrible feeling he didn't. Daniel did not jump the start. He was that. Yeah, that was manual now and this changed the car completely so it had a little bit of trouble initially I, apparently i have to i have to shift myself do you know if there's actually an idiot setting that allows somebody to launch this car without shifting manually normally it just auto shifts when you put it into launch but if you change gear before it does then you will shift it if that makes sense it does i was just assuming that it was manual all the way so i i Probably this is even faster because I slowed it down by shifting manually. Great, okay. Um, it's best two out of three anyway. It's one each. Don't get too excited. Right, let's go. The decider. Three, two, one. It's got me. It's just beaming on the launch. Back in a bit, but too late. Do you know what, Daniel? I'm going to make an excuse here right now. So this launched pretty blooming well, but there's a slight delay when you lift off and you had gone, and that was the difference. Oh, really? Interesting. I thought the Audis launched pretty good, actually. No, like a delay when you first lift off. It's just a split second before it goes. Whereas that, because it's a torque converter, it's like... Interesting. See, this is good consumer advice right there. Yeah, very, very useful consumer advice. Stewards would like to add that we think Daniel may have jumped the start. Ah! Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Stuart just said Daniel jumped. What is with that weird voice? It's my alter ego. No cheating, Daniel, no cheating. I thought I'd do what Matt Watson does. How very dare you. The only person I've seen cheat so far in this video is you. Three, two, one. Come on! Come on, Audi! Come on! You know what, I hate to say this, but you've got a better launch than me, right? And we need to go to the stewards. We need to, okay? Did Daniel jump the start? It's so close. I hope he didn't, because that was a great race. Yeah. Mate, did I jump the start? Let's see if I did. If I did, we'll just call that race. No. Okay, that's it. Two disqualifications. Game over, the Audi wins. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Audi won, just by a nose. It completed the standing quarter mile in 10.9 seconds. However, Daniel jumped the start, and we measured that at 0.2 seconds of a jump. So when you do the maths, it turns out that the BMW actually did the standing quarter mile in 11.1 seconds. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The car's in their least sporty setting and automatic mode for the gearbox. I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. So much for a dual clutch gearbox. It's gone. Can I catch it in before the half mile? No. But I had a lot of speed, wow. Victory to you, Daniel, victory. You didn't cheat that time, did you? I almost thought I'd lose it. If this runway or this race would have been a bit longer, I think you would catch me. Yeah, I think I would, but it's not. And them's the rules, I lost that. So I'm gonna do another thing that I might win, obvs. Okay, we can have another rolling race to the half mile, but this time the car's in their sportiest setting and manual mode for the gearbox. We're going to pull it in second gear from around 40 miles an hour. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yes. Yes, my time has come. Freaking hell, this is quick. Yeah, 
you got absolutely thrashed then. I did. I mean, kind of impressive, but the gearbox makes all the difference. This one was kind of lagging, but you were already hooked up. Yeah, so good. Manual mode, changing gear, the dual clutch is just so, so good. Okay, what would you like to do next? Another race, but you choose the speed and the gear. Oh, this is tricky. I think I may have had... Yeah, third gear might be a better chance for me. Third gear is good, because second at 40 is a bit short. So third gear... 40, let's see that. 40 miles an hour in third gear! Not 50 miles, can we do 50 miles an hour? No, like 40, like same speed as just before, but third gear, I think I might be better there. I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna just be well out of my power band. Sneaky bloody German. All right then, Daniel, this one's your rules. You call it in. All right, third gear, 40 miles an hour. Let's see, so there we are. Level, on go, three, two, one, go! Come on! Oh, he's on boost now! <laughs> You're happy with that, aren't you? I am. It felt like second gear was just too low for this car, but third is just perfect. Okay, right. Third, but from... 50 miles an hour, you won't have me then. No, let's say 60, 60 miles an hour. Third from 60, I'll call this one in. Come on, get level. Here we are. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's close! Come on, Andy! All right, Daniel, I've got nothing more to suggest because you won that. That felt really exciting. This was less than half a car length that I was in front. Yeah, especially exciting for you because you were in front. Right, final challenge. Okay, now we can have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the cones, full emergency stop. Which car will stop in the shortest distance? If you'd rather watch another drag race involving some BMWs, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. If not, Stay here for the brake test. Stop the Messer is the Audi 9. I think I cheated. Who cheated? Might have cheated. Let's pretend I didn't. Yay, I won. Let's go again, I cheated. Right, let's go again. Stupid me. Oh, bollocks, Daniel. I think you might have cheated that time. I f for me, well, it felt like I was doing the right thing, but yeah, based on the result, this doesn't look convincing. Do you know what? Shall we just call it there? I think you won the brake test. I did a bad job, maybe a bit late. Anyway, <laughs> if you're after a performance car, right? I found a good performance car through CarWow. If you want to see what the car is and what the saving is, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. It's my pick. Now, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some more videos, click on those windows there. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to sell your car the easy way. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Thanks for watching.